Have you ever noticed that you gained weight overnight when you first got out of bed and got on the scale? While it's reasonable to put on a few pounds after a trip, or if you haven't been working out or eating well, it might be startling when you put on weight for absolutely no reason. It can feel like some dark sorcery at work, even if you swore you weren't eating more or exercising less. Well, most of the time, weight changes occur, and they're pretty natural, especially after eating or drinking liquids like juice and water. The causes of unexpected weight increase are numerous. In this video, we will discuss the 10 bad habits making you fat while you sleep. The video will be amazing, so stick till the end. So let's dive right in. Number 10. You ate more sodium than you usually do. Your salt intake is unquestionably one of the factors that could cause your body to retain more water. Your body will retain more moisture if you consume more sodium than usual in one day. Some people are more sensitive to this than others. For instance, if you typically eat fresh, clean foods and exercise frequently, and then skip your workout and eat a super salty meal, your weight fluctuation is likely to appear more pronounced than it would to someone who typically consumes more salt. Your body may retain fluids as a result of mild dehydration. It may seem counterintuitive, but drinking more will aid your body in flushing out extra sodium and water. If you resume your regular eating and drinking routines, the weight gain should only last 24 to 48 hours for most fluid-related weight gain. It will largely depend on how quickly your kidneys eliminate extra water from your body and whether you perspire some of the excess water. Number 9 lack of physical activity. Inactivity is one of the main factors contributing to weight gain overnight. To repair injured cells, grow new muscles, and recover from activity, your body uses the energy reserves it has stored during the night. But if you haven't been exercising, your body's extra calories will just be stored as fat, resulting in a weight increase. To improve the quality of your sleep each night, incorporate regular exercise into your daily routine. Eight, it's the weekend. One study discovered that people's weights tended to decrease throughout the work week, reaching their lowest point on Friday morning. Weights increased during the weekends, reaching their peak on Monday mornings. People who lost weight during the study continue to follow this pattern. They merely lost more weight during the week than those who maintained or gained weight. Even though a single limited study cannot generalize to the entire population, it does provide some understanding of typical weight trends. It shows that even though your weight fluctuates on the scale, your overall weight might change over time. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving us a like and subscribe to our channel. Okay, let's jump right back into it. Number 7. You are constipated. Your weight may rise a few pounds as you consume during the day until the following time when you successfully empty your bowels. If there's a slight backlog, you will not only feel and appear bloated, but you will also carry more weight than you would if you could effectively get rid of the old to make place for the new. To allow your bowels to function, ensure you're consuming enough fiber, staying hydrated, and staying active. Number 6. Going to sleep right after eating. The time you eat dinner at night may be another unhealthy habit you've acquired. It's a terrific idea to eat early, well before getting snug in bed. There are two drawbacks to going to bed straight after dinner. Going to bed immediately after eating might cause acid reflux and stop you from burning any of the calories you just consumed. A cascade of events could result from this full stomach since acid reflux can make it challenging to get a good night's sleep, leading to weight gain. But remember that there are some items you can consume before bed to get a good sleep, such as a sleep aid. Santo Remedio's sleep formula, which contains melatonin, chamomile, and valerian root, supports a restful and serene night's sleep. Number 5. You drank a ton of water. Maintaining a healthy hydration level is wise if you're trying to lose weight. But the initial days of increasing your water intake may also result in a little increase in your weight. This is so that the weight is not simply a measurement of body fat. It is about the importance of your bones, muscles, organs, fluid, and waste. Even though you really weigh less while dehydrated, you are not necessarily healthy. Imagine that one day you don't drink much water. The next morning you wake up and your weight decreases. 
Next, you consume a lot of water, and the following day, it appears that you've put on two pounds. Your body losing water the day before does not mean you put on two pounds of fat. Number four, you started new medication. Weight gain could be an adverse effect of some drugs. Most often, it's caused by a hormonal fluctuation that increases appetite and leads to consuming more calories, resulting in weight gain. However, some drugs, such as steroids, can produce water retention, which can appear to be weight gain, but is actually just a change in the body's fluid levels. These oscillations may not subside until you stop the meds and can be more severe than those brought on by diet-related water retention. With this form of water retention, you'll probably notice the physical side effects in your extremities, such as swollen hands and feet. Number three, getting less than six hours of sleep each night. There's unquestionably a link between inadequate sleep and changes in your metabolism that are detrimental. In fact, studies show a connection between sleep deprivation and fat. It might have to do with the fact that leptin and ghrelin, the two chemicals in your body that regulate hunger, can be affected by how much sleep you get or don't get. Sleeping for at least six hours each night is critical. Any time less than that is associated with weight gain. Therefore, if you're not receiving a good six hours or more of sleep, it can be why your scale is rising. Number two, you ate more carbs than usual. Although carbs are not the enemy of weight reduction, eating an excessive amount of them in a single day or even several days can give the impression that you've put on weight. Water weight may appear on the scale as a result of consuming carbohydrates. This is why a lower carb diet causes people to lose weight more quickly at first. The extra water leaves the body and is not retained. It's also why individuals may fast, put on weight after discontinuing their low carbohydrate diet. When that water weight returns, the scale increases. Number one, you switch to intermittent fast. Numerous research has demonstrated the advantages of intermittent fasting. One of these advantages is eating larger meals because the eating window is short. The scale can momentarily increase if you recently started eating in this manner and ate a more extensive dinner than usual. And while a number of the things on this list might be causing weight gain, it might also be something you've never thought of. Due to the sheer increase in blood volume caused by substantial meals, the scale may spike from larger servings. So there you have it. I hope you liked the video. Which bad habits from this list are you doing? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.